Imagine having a close relationship with someone for almost a dozen years, and then ties are severed because your friend feels you may not actually, but could possibly cause harm to them. That's what happened to Arizona Christian University as the largest school district in Phoenix and Glendale, Arizona, severed ties because they felt ACU student teachers may make LGBT students feel unsafe. Now, ACU is suing the Washington Elementary School District for cutting ties over the university's religious beliefs. Well, joining us is Arizona Christian University spokesperson Linnea Lighting and Alliance Defending Freedom Senior Counsel Ryan Tucker. Thank you both for being with us. Uh, Linnea, for 11 years, ACU and the Washington Elementary School District enjoyed a cordial, uh, mutually beneficial relationship. So in your opinion, why did it end? Why now? Um, well, I was, I was shocked uh, when I watched the board meeting and they said that they were severing the relationship because Arizona Christian University students have been working with Washington School District for over 10 years and all of the feedback I've gotten has been positive. In fact, they've asked for more of our students to come. So um, I, I don't know. I was, I was very surprised. Well, Ryan, ADL filed a 37-page lawsuit against school districts. So what is your main contention here? Is it free speech uh, violation or religious freedom concerns? What? Well, it's all the above. You know, listen, the government cannot treat people of faith worse than everyone else. These students should not lose opportunities and be punished, you know, merely because of their religious beliefs. That's a blatant example of religious discrimination. So it's a First Amendment violation, both uh, the religious hostility that the, the school uh, board members showed the school, but also it's a it's a free speech violation as well. So in your opinion, it's clearly unconstitutional what they did. Well, absolutely. As Linnea pointed out, you know, they had a mutually beneficial, you know, relationship for for 11 plus years. And then uh, just a couple of weeks ago, the school board members had a meeting and uh, they started targeting, you know, people of faith. They they called their beliefs. Uh, unsafe, um, you know, simply due to their their Christian beliefs. So we have one word for that, and and that's uh, discrimination. Linnea, I guess three school board members identify as LGBT. They argue that student teachers with biblical values would pose a threat to LGBT students. So, have any of your student teachers mistreated LGBT students? Were there ever ever any uh, complaints against them for bigotry or bias? What are your thoughts? There have never been any complaints against our students in Washington School District. Um, we've only received positive remarks. They've asked for more of our students to come. They've hired a good number of our graduates. In fact, the board meeting the other night just reaffirmed what our students are doing there as teachers who have worked with them got up and spoke about their excellence. So it's really not fair for them to be targeted for their religious beliefs. And Ryan, I understand a lot of people from the community came and protested at the uh, most recent school board meeting, not happy with their actions. Some are even saying, hey, we're going to get rid of those three board members uh, in 2024. So explain for our viewers why they should be concerned about the possible legal precedent this case could set. Well, th this is an attack on religious freedom. Government officials can't choose to exclude people simply because they are religious. And as you pointed out, there were several members of the community that showed up at this second board meeting to, to voice their frustration and their concern and their fear over the actions of this particular board. And as Linnea pointed out, for years, they have enjoyed this, this great relationship. And so I think I think there's a disconnect between the rank and file, the, the individuals that work in that district and, and the school board. Linnea, some people would say, well, just send your student teachers elsewhere. Work out an agreement with another school district. How feasible is that? Um, we have a very good relationship with many districts. The thing about Washington is that, first of all, they're close to us, um, and then our students have an opportunity to go over between classes and work with students. Um, second of all, they uh, have some excellent teachers there. I used to teach in the district. Um, so my con biggest concern is that this is hurting Arizona Christian University students because they're not getting the same opportunities as other people because of their religious beliefs, but it's also hurting the students, and that's the biggest thing we want to do is help the students in Washington Elementary School District have an extra set of hands in their class that's been trained how to teach, have an extra um, teacher for an entire semester when they student teach, and 
to be able to have this pool of graduates to draw from. We have a teacher shortage right now. So getting excellent teachers is a challenge for districts. I live in the district. I want them to have good teachers. And finally, Ryan, uh, do you expect a negotiated settlement here or will this go to court? And if it does, what are your chances of winning in the ninth district court? I guess it's pretty evenly split now between liberals and conservatives, but for a long time, it's been very liberal. Well, one would certainly think that the school district would would come forward with uh, uh, thoughts of resolution. But, you know, we filed a lawsuit before the second board meeting. And at the second board meeting, at least a couple of those board members doubled down on their position, calling the school bigoted in, in its uh, beliefs. So it's unclear to us whether or not uh, the school district will come forward and, and, and have those discussions. If not, you know, we look forward to presenting our case at the district court level. And as you mentioned, if we need to, we'll, we'll go to the Ninth Circuit and beyond to, to, to stand for this great university. Well, it seems there, I mean, do they have any evidence here that any of this has happened? I mean, it's just based on speculation. No. It's not based on evidence, is it? No, no. The, the, these board members merely looked at the fact that this is a Christian university. They have uh, biblical views on sexuality and gender. Uh, and they didn't like those views. They targeted those views and uh, kicked them out. There, there's uh, That's the only evidence we have uh, in this lawsuit, and that uh, is clear religious discrimination. Okay, Linnea Lighting and Ryan Tucker, we thank you for taking the time to be with us. We'll see what happens. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for having us.